Hey what is going on guys, my name is Nate, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and set up the Elgato Wave microphones. As most of you already know, if you're purchasing an Elgato mic or looking to purchase an Elgato mic, the, the whole gimmick of this mic is that it's basically a Go XLR with less features, but it's routing, there's a lot of rerouting that you can do without a physical block. Let's say, let's just say block or a mixer. I call it a block because it's literally, it's just, it's just a block on your desk and it takes up space. Anyways, so go on to the Elgato website, the link down in the description below. You go to the top right. It may or may not change in, in the near future, but it currently is in the top right. Downloads. Then you want to go and select your product. For me, it's the Wave 3. Windows OS, you can change it to Mac or Windows. Linux is not supported, apparently. And then you want to hit the giant blue button with the down arrow. Download. I'm not going to follow through with this because I already have it installed, as you can see right here. I'm going to hit cancel. And then I'm going to minimize this. So if you have any audio rerouting systems, be it VB cable or voice meter, you want to make sure to uninstall or disable all of those things as they may or may not interfere with some of your audio settings in the near future. So none of these inputs, I just remembered, none of these inputs will pop up unless you plug the microphone in. What you want to do is once you get the microphone or if you already have the microphone, plug it in. There's going to be a really annoying uh, sound delay or audio monitoring that's going to be a second late. And you want to fix that by disabling these two tracks. You want to add the Elgato Wave microphone. So it'll say Elgato Wave 3 and you want to disable these two. This will disable the audio monitoring that is delayed on the computer, which is perfectly normal. So yeah, you disable this and uh, there should already be one input. I don't remember if there, if there is already one input or if there's no inputs, but how do you add an input? You literally go over this giant block thing. It says here, add audio input. Go here and you add microphone. And in this case, it'll just say wave three, add it. And then just like, for example, if I wanted to use aux one, there you go. I click it and then I could click the down arrow and I could rename it here at the top. Me, I'm not going to rename anything as I've, it's already like preset over here and what it's called. I purposely chose whatever the presets are called. So to turn off audio monitoring, you disable these two and you could even bring the sliders down. You could just bring them down like this. Just both together if you want. Um, but yeah, that's how you do that. How do you remove one of these? You click on the down arrow, remove input. Simple as that. Next, what you want to do is you want to make you want to make the decision of how do you want to fix up your audio. For me personally, I like having every single audio source individual um, in OBS. So if I bring OBS to the main screen, I could even just show you right here. I've got every single audio input separated in here. So I'm using the monitoring mix. I'm not using the stream mix. What this means is I've added every single input in here individually, which for me is what I've been doing for years. So I'm fine with it. Now, if you're not fine with it and you want to just use the stream mix, go ahead. What is the difference between the two? The audio monitor, the monitoring mix is what you hear and the stream mix is what other people hear or the stream will hear. So you can use the stream output that is right here. You would just add it into OBS like another audio source then you'd basically be fine. And then everything over here on this bar right here, this is what you'd be messing around with. So you'd, you'd have to mess around with both. For me, I only want to mess around with one track to keep my life simple or one volume slider, let's say. Now, once you've all got all of this down, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys my recommended mic settings. But before that, you want to go down to the, the right, right click it, sound, open this up. Once you're in here, you want to click on recording and you want to click on mic in. Double click it. Did you want to go to levels and you want to set the mic to around 70%. Play around with it from 50 to 70, not 100 because 100 is too much. I'm actually going to lower mine to the funny number because it's funny. You could double click it again, go advance and make sure that it's on the one channel 24 bit 48,000 hertz. And once you're done, you're, we're going to move on to the audio on the microphone. So when looking at the mic volume, every single LED counts for two ticks so every two ticks goes up one led going up by 20 intervals and my suggestion is to go up five ticks five ticks will bring you up to around the third led and i feel like in most situations this is the perfect setting so as for the headphone button you might want to go all the way up and then for the microphone you want to go dead in the middle so let's say you feel like you've gotten all of your inputs correct the next thing to do is to route your inputs. These inputs, because these inputs will not just 
automatically fix everything, you want to go ahead and hit the top right icon with the four bars volume sliders and weird thingies and you're gonna have this window pop up i'm gonna move it over to the right because it'll make my life a little bit easier and um the first things first is if you only if you're like me and you only have four inputs this is gonna be very easy to route first what you want to do is you want to go for your output all the way at the top starting with your output you want to link it to the system wave link system that's for your output then your input it's the mic in which is the elgato wave 3 in brackets and it says mic in that means this is the default microphone this is the default sound now you want to go ahead and go to your browser uh, of choice i believe you can do this with multiple browsers i only use the brave browser but if you use chrome firefox whatever you use go ahead and open them play a music video or just some music or some sound and then go ahead and link the output to the browser input. You only want to do this for the output, the top one. Next, you want to go ahead and go to your Discord. If you're using Discord or TeamSpeak or something like that, go ahead and go to those applications and click on Wave Link Voice Chat. If you're like me and you have two things over here, go ahead and link both of them. And that is literally it. This is the process of doing this and if you have more stuff than I do, go ahead and link everything as like accordingly to every single voice channel and you will be good. Once this is done, you are all set. All you have to do is play around with your mic volume and sound volume and stuff like that. And yeah, you're then you're really done. So without further ado, I'm going to end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nave and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.